Hey everyone, Sarah here. Sensory motor integration refers to a type of treatment that emphasizes select provision of stimuli to the physical senses in order to elicit a specific motor response. We use these techniques in OT, PT, and as discussed in this video, SLP. Let's watch as my brave husband participates in therapy with me. Depending on the specific issues a patient might be facing, you could use these facilitation points to either facilitate or inhibit muscle tone. If the patient's having trouble pursing their lips, you can either glide a frozen glycerin swab or maybe an ice finger around the orbicularis oris in a clockwise direction. And then you can go also counterclockwise, having the patient practice pursing their lips when you're done. Um, also, after you go around the mouth, you want to go inward in those strokes. Using your frozen swab or maybe an ice finger here again, you can go across the lips to practice retracting the lips. For one-sided weakness, you basically just want to use your instrument to help them stimulate the muscles on their weaker side. We're going to say I'm using a frozen glycerin swab to stimulate his fascial pillars. If your patient's having any kind of sensory deficit, this might be useful. To check for or increase the palatal reflex triggering, you want to use that frozen swab horizontally across the soft palate from weaker to stronger side. And this is showing you the three stroke version of the palatal reflex triggering. To increase the tongue base retraction, you'll want to glide your frozen swab across the bitter taste buds from weaker to stronger side. This technique is using the soft palate for sensory motor integration to elevate the tongue base. You want to feel for tongue base retraction as you glide the frozen swab from the nasal spine down to the tip of the uvula. Moving posterior to anterior along lingual midline, we want to increase the lingual curling response. To help with this technique, you could definitely use a frozen lemon glycerin swab. For this one, you want to use quick short strokes going from back to front. Using a combination of long and short rapid strokes along the sides of the tongue, we can help the patient elevate and elongate their tongue tip. Stroking upward on the underside of the tongue in midline left, midline right pattern, we can use our swab to help the patient raise their tongue tip. We can help the patient reduce lingual deviation on protrusion by using short rapid strokes on the weaker side and then the stronger edges of the tongue. Then we'll hold the tongue tip with gauze, stroking diagonally across the blade tongue away from the side of deviation and then release. 